We will have uh, confessions at 10 a.m. today and at 5.30 p.m. Monday through Friday this week uh, for as long as needed uh, down in the bookstore uh, this week. And apologies for the short notice, but I will be out on a canonical retreat this week. So I'll be um, basically unavailable Monday through Friday. Please keep an eye on the parish website, uh, which we will try to keep updated. And God bless you there. And finally, we will somehow or other, God willing, uh, we will be able to uh, bless the palms next week and make them available for you in some way. I think our plan is to maybe have them available in the uh, vestibule area and over by the side entrance. So yes, we do intend to bless the palms, God willing. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. He who is of God hears the words of God. The reason why you do not hear is that you are not of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. There's a word here that we might pass over rather quickly, but which is actually very important. And it is the word hear. I believe this passage that we have heard from the gospel connects very much with a very, very famous and important passage from the Old Testament, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 4 to 8. These are the precepts and ceremonies and judgments which the Lord your God commanded that I should teach you and you should do them in the land into which you pass over to possess it. But thou mayst fear the Lord thy God, and keep all his commandments and precepts, which I command thee, and thy sons and thy grandsons, all the days of thy life, that thy days may be prolonged. Hear, O Israel, and observe to do the things which the Lord hath commanded thee, that it may be well with thee, and that thou mayst be greatly multiplied, as the Lord, the God of thy fathers, hath promised thee a land flowing with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with thy whole heart and with thy whole soul and with thy whole strength. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thy heart. And thou shalt tell them to thy children, and thou shalt meditate upon them sitting in thy house and walking on thy journey sleeping and rising, and thou shalt find them as a sign on thy hand, and they shall be and shall move between thy eyes. And as I say, that is from the sixth chapter of Deuteronomy. And so the really key verse of this whole passage requires the name as well, that key verse that here, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, is referred to as the Shema, which means hear. So it's referred to as the here. And interestingly, I'll just make a quick side note. Um, that uh, word is not completely foreign to us. Uh, if you like etymology as I do, you can see that ultimately Shema is the, is the root of our word schmooze. So I'll leave that as a little homework assignment to you if you're interested. But the Shema is one of the most key prayers in Judaism even to this day. And we see the importance of the command to hear. So w- what am I getting at there? Well, for all I know, in my, in my foolishness, it seems to me that God could simply have revealed to Israel that one God is their God, and that is all. But instead, he first commands them to hear, and us as well. Why? Because he means more than hearing with our ears. He means letting all of his words penetrate our mind and our heart. He means living in accordance with these words, obeying him. And in fact, the very word obey derives from the Latin word meaning to hear. And of course, we still say this even today, as for example, a parent might say, my children just don't listen to me when in fact what they mean is obey or take heed or take to heart what I'm telling them. And so what we see in our gospel today is that our Lord is rebuking them for this failure. 
He rebukes them and us for not hearing him, not listening to him. When I was a young man, the priest in my parish used to say over and over again, there are none so blind as those who refuse to see. And of course, the same would be true for those who refuse to hear. So the questions we have for ourselves are, do we listen and believe and obey? We need to be like Samuel, the Old Testament prophet. Speak, Lord, for thy servant is listening. And God the Father himself said to us, This is my beloved Son. Hear ye him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.